Keep it going for Warren. What the host? Relationships are tough, man. I can remember my ex. Um, I said she missed the hallway sex. Like we look across the hall from each other, and she yelled, "Fuck you!" And I said, "Fuck you too." You know, <laughs> Funny on the way to the car. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like a chocolate chip in the middle of a big bowl of vanilla ice cream right now. <laughs> Like, I'm out of Miami. Uh, anybody else from Miami? Okay, got some homies in the house, 305. You know. Miami's great, born and raised. You know, there's all types of people in Miami. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian. Uh, we just call each other Cubans for short. That's just... You know. <laughs> you know. It's just a lot easier for everybody to remember. Like, people ask me, like, hey, where are you from? I was like, I'm from Miami. He's like, no, where are you? where's your family from? I said, well, I'm African American, okay? My mother's from the South, my father's from the, you know, never mind, just call me Cuba. It's a lot easier to remember. <laughs> Any Cubans in the house? Any Cubans? All right, we got one. Okay. <laughs> Cubans are bad, man. You guys got your own coffee. You know, it's called Cuban coffee. You know? <laughs> I actually did a Google search. I found that black people have their own coffee too. We call it Hennessy. You know, just say <laughs> Drink it any time after 10 a.m. You know? <laughs> Nine is beautiful. You know, a lot of people speak Spanish. I tell my kids, if you want to stay here, you got to learn to speak Spanish. Spanish is like the language of love, man. It's so romantic. You know, that language, man. Like the other day, a lady, a lady cursed me out in Spanish. I didn't know what she said, but it sounded beautiful, you know? I'm here, God, something like that. It's beautiful. Any Haitian people in the house? Any Zoles in the house, Haitian people? A lot of Haitian people. We go around a lot of Haitian people. Actually, my nephew's Haitian. Okay. And uh, one thing about Haitian people, uh, when they speak Creole, I don't speak Creole, but man, whatever they're talking about, they seem very excited about it, you know? <laughs> I was in the grocery store with my nephew, and uh, my brother-in-law actually married uh, a woman that was Haitian, she had a son, you know, my nephew, and uh, he's been my nephew ever since. So I'm in the grocery store, and I hear two gentle Haitian gentlemen just going back and forth. <laughs> Sounds like rapid fire, right? <laughs> so I'm looking at my nephew, and like, are these guys already getting their face like, what are you talking about? He's like, they're talking about peanut butter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which is the better brand, Jiffy or Peter Pan? I was like, wow, there are no Haitian people that passionate about peanut butter. I prefer Jiffy myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but mine is notorious for their strip clubs, man. Anybody go to strip clubs, don't go up. Just nod, nah, don't clap if you go. <laughs> but they're notorious, man. But you know, I don't go to those fancy strip clubs like Tootsie's or Gold, you know, Starbucks. I go to the mom and pop strip clubs. You know? <laughs> Get more value for your buck. You know, I'm like a little knowledge on my strippers. You know, a couple stab wounds and stress scars. That's what I'm into, ladies. You know? I like to go. You know, I like to go and get two drinks. Okay, a lap dance and a sexy transmitted disease, all for $19.95. Okay. <laughs> you can't beat that way. <laughs> I was here a lap dance one time. I felt a little comfortable because, you know, she, she had her baby on her hip. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> cute little baby, too. I mean, just, you know, she couldn't find her babysitter. You know, just, you know. Got me a car, and I had to get a new car. You know, I had to do it, man. I got tired of praying for my old car, you know, like, Dear God, please let this car start. Please, <laughs> just, one more time. I promise, one more time. You know, I had to do it, man. Like I knew I needed a new car when I went to the stoplight, and the homeless person would offer me change. You know, just, <laughs> you know. I, know, I saw my son driving. I was driving. I saw my son walking in the rain. You know, you need a car when you say see somebody walking in the rain, and you go, "Hey, you need a ride?" He goes, "No, thanks." <laughs> but these new cars, man, they, 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 they tell you everything. You know, they talk, they constantly tell you everything. Like my car now, man, it tells you everything. It tells me like when I'm trailing behind somebody too closely. It tells me who's behind me. I went on a date and dropped this young lady off. As soon as I got in the car, the car goes, you know she's too good for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought you were on my side. Like, we know your track record, okay? You know you're afraid of commitment. 
<laughs> People think I'm on the phone. I'm in there arguing with my car. You know, just if you don't watch, don't get a new car. You know, but it's definitely nice to be surrounded by this many people outside to check out all of a local Walmart. I will tell you that <laughs> right now. I was in Walmart the other day. I was in line so long I ate all my groceries. I mean, <laughs> I gotta go back and shop for some more groceries. <laughs> And I'm walking down the aisle, the manager actually offered me a job. He's like, you look on some work? I was like, no, not really. He goes, congratulations, you're hired. I'm like, Dude, I don't want to work at my Walmart. He says, relax, man. He goes, me neither. No. <laughs> He's like, look around. Do you see anybody that works here that actually want to be here? Come on, man. Chill out, you know? <laughs> but I like him going to Walmart to like going to the gym, you know. It's like I know I said I was gonna go today, but can't wait till Monday. You know, just, I mean, because it takes a lot of stamina to push a shopping cart full of groceries on two good wheels. You know, it's just. <laughs> You know how you go in there, it's like, man, this was, this was something, then you go get another, another. Next thing you know, you're surrounded by 12 broken shopping carts. You're like, they're all this way. <laughs> but you got to be tough shopping at Walmart. You can't be no punk bitch shopping at Walmart. <laughs> I've seen people get shot, stabbed, and been to Walmart. You know, before I go to Walmart, I call my kids just to tell them I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I figure it's the right thing to do, you know? <laughs> and finally, my son got tired of asking. He's like, Dad, if Walmart's so dangerous, why do you guys say, because son, we can save money and live better? <laughs> <laughs> I like Walmart, though, especially when COVID just hit, man. This whole COVID thing, man. It, it, Cold is like turning into a, a, a movie franchise, you know? First you got like Corona, COVID-19, and then we got the Delta Force, and now Optimus Prime. <laughs> but for me, I think COVID-19 was the best. Sequels usually don't meet my expectations. <laughs> Crafty like one of the dollar store. Any dollar store people like one of you guys are like a dollar. All right, dollar store crap. It's, you know, I got a problem with it. dollar store. It's an addiction for me. Seriously. I can't, I've got anything for a fucking dollar. <laughs> I thought shit I don't even need. You know what I'm saying? Like the other day, I bought hair spray. It's like, what's the fuck? A shower cap. A shower cap for it. It was a dollar. I couldn't resist. I bought some marijuana. You know, just. Well, it actually wasn't in the dollar store. It was a dollar store parking lot. But it's still a dollar. <laughs> Then they had like this aerosol deodorant cane that was like two feet tall, right? And I'm thinking, wow, all this fucking deodorant for one dollar. You know what I mean? I never had to buy deodorant ever again in my life, you know? So I get home and I put this deodorant on when I get out of the shower. By the I'm nasty by the time I get to the front door. I, just, <laughs> I mean, I don't get that so stink that you're like into now, like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Seriously, the dog stopped barking and started talking. <laughs> I'm looking at the dog, the dog's looking at me like, don't look at me, you don't want to hear what <laughs> That dog store shit is dangerous too sometimes. I bought like a hundred nasks for like one dollar. I was like, a hundred fucking face nasks for a dollar, this is a steal. I put one on, I almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I should have read the one label. I didn't realize they were made of plastic. Was... <laughs> Gotta read those warning labels, man. But you know what? I'm, 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 I'm thrilled. I, I think I've met the perfect girl. I'm excited about her, man. I think it's great. Uh, well, let me be honest. I didn't actually meet her yet. You know, I met her like on Instagram. Um, and she can't talk to me right now because something's wrong with her phone. Um, I know what you guys are thinking, like scam, you know, but and she told me you guys would try to come between us when we had, you know, when I told her about this. Um, but I'm really feeling for this girl. If I could just get her to stop asking for my credit card information and bank statements, I think she'd see that there's some real chemistry between us. I just, you know. And the other guy wanted to get stopped there to judge me. I said, hey, listen. Uh, I'm really feeling for you, man. I feel as though you're my soulmate, you know? I feel like we've been together forever. 
I think I'm falling in love with you. She said, right, really, babe? You know, she texted and texted me. He said, great, can you give me $500 to turn my phone? I was like, bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> She's like, I thought you told me you loved me. I'm like, that was a, a biblical love, you know, just <laughs> like love that neighbor type stuff, you know, just, it's cool, man, seriously, it's cool, shoot. Um, but yeah, man, younger girls, man, I heard Warren talking about a younger girl, man, that's me. You know, I did that same thing, too, for, for some reason. I guess it's going around because of COVID or something, I don't know, <laughs> you know, seriously. I mean, she, she, she's, she's great, man. I mean, one thing I learned in that relationship, there's only one thing better than, than, than like, the sex, you know, which is the fun. <clears throat> there's only one thing better. And that, for me, was sleep. This just was killing me, man. She was a fucking beast. I was hiding from her. I actually faked a seat just like <laughs> to, to get some rest and shit. <laughs> Which was a big mistake, because when I got out, she was like, you know what, I, you know, she, she was on this health tip. You know, she wanted me to eat healthy. I guess she was trying to keep me alive for as long as possible. So she bought this juicer, right? And she goes, babe, drink this. This will help with your immune system. However, she neglected to tell me that it also loosened your bowels. I was, you know, I mean, I was afraid to sneeze for about a month. Just, you know. She took me to a yoga class and, sh and shit. You know, I was like, yoga? She's like, yeah, man, I thought you were doing the yoga. I was like, I thought you said yogurt, okay? I, you know. And then I met her parents, which was awkward at first. Well, I found out we had something common. I actually dated her mother in high school. <laughs> I thought she looked familiar. You know, I, just, you know, I thought she'd be weirded out by it, but now she's convinced that we're soulmates because I dated her mother, you know? Her father wasn't too thrilled about it. You know, he, he definitely had me on his hit list. Yeah. Is that a light or am I having a stroke? What is that? It's okay. light. That's the light? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> 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 That's right. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was my probation officer or something. <laughs> I told him I was going to be late. I told him I was going to fucking call the show. God damn it. But anyway, I'm going to leave that so her father pulled me to the side. He said, look, man, he said, bad enough that you slept with my wife in high school. Now you're fucking my boy. He said, I can kill you. Now, I'm not a violent person, right? But I have a theological background. At one point, I went to school to become a priest. So I said, listen, man, it's obvious, right, that God is punishing you right now. And I'm just a vessel. Here to do God's will. <laughs> so don't look at me as fucking your God. Just look at me as doing God's work. <laughs> now put the knife down and get in here and let's knock it out. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. You guys are great. My name is Al. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, you like my company, follow me on Instagram. I got a website series called In the News. It gives news. It gives the funny side to it, everyday news. Thanks a lot. You guys have been great.